siapakah orang orang Malaysia yang beli kereta yang itu Orang yang ini nama dia adalah JP Chin nama penuh dia adalah Chin Jit Ping Okay, um, like most of you probably have seen my last video, uh, towards the end of last video, I did talk about the, uh, the more exciting thing that will to come, which is the Bugatti Divo that I own. This car is currently in Singapore, modern Singapore. I guess um, uh, these are some of the curiosity people have, uh, why a Malaysian buy this car and yet it's in Singapore. Singapore is essentially uh, a, a quote unquote a tax-free uh, uh, country if you don't register the car and uh, they do not require EP to bring car in Singapore. So what uh, I did was when I bought this car, uh, if I were to bring back to Malaysia, I need to apply an AP, I need to do this, I need to do that. I may have to sell the car, but it's easier to, to, to flock the car out to anywhere in the world from Singapore. Uh, why Wins Singapore? Wins is the uh, distributor, dealer for Bugatti uh, in Singapore, or rather for the entire Asia or Southeast Asia. And on top of that, they have very good uh, storing facilities in Singapore, air conditions, they take care of your car, and all the mechanics there are trained to look after the car. So that is the reason why I, I kept the car in Singapore. Now let's come back to the Divo. I mean, the Divo was actually, uh, I booked the car sometime in 2018. So it took almost more than two years to have the car delivered. And obviously, as most of you know, this is one of the uh, most collectible Bugatti that uh, in the present time. There are 40 units that are being produced. Obviously, uh, I was probably one of, I guess I'm the only one being allocated probably in Southeast Asia. So the car arrived in Singapore uh, sometime in June this year. And that is how the news went viral uh, when I posted uh, the, the car that arrived in Singapore sometime in June. However, I would like to share a little bit of the other car that I have in Singapore. Uh, first, the, uh, the Bugatti Chiron, which I took delivery, I think, back in 2018. 500 units that announced by uh, Bugatti. There are only 500 units that to be uh, made. And uh, as our last uh, heard, uh, I think about a month ago, uh, all the 500 has been taken up. It's basically a collector's item as well. Okay, besides that, uh, I also have the 918 Spider. That one is also a limited edition, 918 unit produced worldwide. And my car is 363 out of 918. Another car that I have not driven myself. With regards to the Bugatti that I have, uh, I think quite a number of questions being asked, have I driven the car before? I, of course, I've seen the factory, the demo car in, in, in France. Uh, that's all I, I saw the car, but I have not seen my own car, neither I have driven the car. Am I going to drive the car? Hopefully so, when the car comes back to KL, so I may put on the Serpang track and uh, get a few rounds. The Bugatti Chiron, uh, the one that I have in Singapore, same story, I have not driven it, okay? But it doesn't mean that I have not driven the car, so... Uh, uh, back in 2017, uh, we were actually invited by Bugatti to, to test drive the car in Portugal Highway. So I've driven the car and uh, my son TM also have driven the car. It's a very nice car and very easy car to drive. It's just like driving a normal Volkswagen, Passat or Peter. Anybody can drive the car. It's such an easy car to be driven. Unlike some of the sporty sports cars like the Ferrari or the McLaren or the Lamborghini. This one is so easy to drive. The most interesting part in that drive that we did, uh, TM, my son, he clocked 353 kilometers on the Portugal public highway. And it was amazing. So uh, I couldn't believe it, you know, that he, he did that because my own record is 341 kilometers an hour, but he beat my record. So that, that is one of the exciting things, amazing things that we, we achieved in Portugal. Can I bring the car back in Malaysia? The answer is yes. You know, uh, if I do have the right paperwork, I can bring the car back in Malaysia. Uh, so, uh, 
let's see, you know, if the, the authority are willing to listen to my justification that this is a collector piece, museum piece, then allow me to bring this guy into Malaysia uh, as a tourist attraction, public attraction in Malaysia, why not? I mean, I'm willing to share my collection with the public here as well. So it all depends on what the authority uh, is going to do with it. Uh, obviously, I'm talking to some of the authority to see where that, that can be done. Failing that, too bad. So I have to already continue to keep the car in Singapore or anywhere else in the world. Uh, the only option that I have is to bring the car to Langkawi. La. Okay. So uh, if I do that, obviously Langkawi is tax-free, you know. Uh, but I still need an AP to bring it in there, you know. So never know. Recently, I also ordered a, a, a limited edition uh, Bugatti, which some of you uh, probably have heard about the recent launch of that car in Pebble Beach, USA. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what car, but you can guess what it is. Uh, and this is a, 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 what they call a track version of the Bugatti. It will be the, probably the fastest track car uh, in the world. So that one, I will give it uh, for the next uh, um, episode, you know. When it comes to the Bugatti, why blue? Uh, the fact that I'm wearing blue today, not to say that I like blue, you know. The blue that I chose is what they call the French racing blue, okay. It is a, it's a very nice, unique colour. Uh, it's, it's basically a signature colour of, of Bugatti cars, uh, so that's why I chose it. I'm buying this car as an investment, okay. It is not what colour I like. The safest way to invest in a car is to buy a car that is a signature colour of the brand. The Chiron is basically almost the main colour is blue. And likewise, the, uh, the Divo Note is in uh, grey. The factory colour grey was matte black. I, I don't like matte, so I chose the same colour but gross. Uh, the interior is also with blue and, and, and stuff like that. Uh. And then, uh, not to mention about these two, even the Porsche 918 Spider. So I've chosen the, uh, the grey colour, the metallic grey colour, uh, which is again one of the launch colour of the car. This, this is the way I, I choose a car for investment. My first Bugatti Chiron, a bit egoistic on my own end, because they give us an option that the plug in the car can be customised. So since they give me the option, I say, since the plug can be removed, so I decided to put my JPM logo there. So that will be probably the uh, only customization I had on my car. So it's no big deal. You know, if the next guy wants to buy my car, for example, I can always ask the factory to create another plug and uh, just uh, switch it. It's a number plate. Huh? So uh, I, I didn't want to put uh, a, a very unique customization option in my car. They make the car only for myself. So usually I'm very careful with the options. How on earth that uh, a Malaysian can be allocated uh, with a Bugatti? I have my credentials of collecting car over the last 20, 30 years. Okay, so most people in the market would have known me uh, as a collector. Even when I'm poor, I buy car that I cannot afford by borrowing money from the bank. Okay, so when I sold my company back in the early 2000, so I bought my first uh, hypercar, which is a Ferrari Enzo. And then at the same time, I bought the Lamborghini Musharago, the first in, in Southeast Asia as well. So news start to get out that I'm a collector. Then I bought the 918 Spider. No, as a long, I start to collecting some of these cars. My credentials are being known by most of the factories in the world. Uh, they, they don't know how much I have in the bank. They assume that I have a lot. I may not, uh, to, to the surprise of a lot of people. But however, I, I have a very strong credential. So I got the Chiron first. Then, because I'm very passionate about this car, I promote this car, I talk to all my friends, but none of them pick up. And finally, I met a, a Chinese tycoon in China. So uh, I shared with him about the, the beauty of this car, because at the time I already driven the car in Europe. So he ordered two units, okay? So uh, suddenly I become an ambassador of uh, Bugatti uh, in, in Southeast Asia. The car was actually brought into Malaysia by Wins uh, and was uh, launched in uh, my museum in Kota Damansara, uh, PJ. And uh, on, on that basis, you know, the factory people know me very well. Okay? And when they came up with the Divo, my, most people read in the news, you know, you need to have Veyron, Chiron, or whatever. And why am I given? Because of my credential. Okay, because I own a Chiron, I also help them to sell a few. I did so because of my recommendation, two in China, two or three in China, in Australia, none in Malaysia. Okay, 
uh, on that basis that uh, that they've given me the car. I have been spending all my saving, earning in my life to, to put in car uh, as a hobby. So I enjoyed it. It, it is not that uh, I have tons of money stuck somewhere that I use them. So it is basically on that basis that uh, some of these cars are bought. Uh. I, I mean, people who save money, they keep gold, they keep silver, they keep property. I'm one crazy nut that I keep cars. Uh. I think if you follow my series, you will get to know the truth. You don't have to be super duper rich to be a car collector. You can always start with a simple car. In fact, I just told my staff today, go and buy an old Kanchil, a 2002 model. 3,800 ringgit, because I believe that car will be a collector's item. In time to come, will this car become a collector's? Maybe, maybe not. If not, 3,800 3, gone, it's okay. But if it is, it may be double up, triple up. These are the way to collect. Uh, like I say, you follow our series, you know how I collect, then hopefully you can learn from me. So you don't have to, of course, you always have the eye as a Bugatti as your target, lah, but start somewhere. There were many questions also asked, uh, you know, how do we make money? I'm basically a technology man, so I started my career in IBM and uh, I was involved in uh, many in banking applications. Now I'm on my own, also doing similar thing. I'm also a property man. I'm also currently a CEO of a largest uh, research co in Malaysia for property. Uh, my children uh, who are helping me in the downstream technology side, so we do things like the delivery platform, uh, our send delivery, we also got our marketplace platform called Send Ding Dong. Phone app, okay, phone app is essentially a natural spending recycling program. Uh, work like e-wallet, but it's, it's a community-based kind of, of loyalty reward program. Okay, it's a hyper reward program. Basically help you to earn money as you spend your natural spending. Uh, I will leave it to uh, TM, my son, who is the, um, the CEO of that company to share with you. Hi, I'm TM. Yes, I manage phone app and JPM collections. So if any one of you have interesting ideas what JPM can do, let us know in the comments. In the market, you may spend and you get points for your own spending. But phone app is different. We have a program called a many to one program. It is a concept where we allow you to build your community and when they spend, you earn rewards from that. So whenever your community spends, whether they're eating, shopping or even paying bills, you earn from their spending. It is a program to help people financially and provide them relief. So for more information, find out from our website below. Click the referral link below and join JPM community and PhoneNet will reward you a 5 ringgit off settle voucher.